Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the DWM.exe service process is experiencing high CPU usage when connected through a remote desktop protocol. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just go ahead and lock on the start button one time. Type in group policy. So this tutorial will apply for uh, Windows 10 Professional Enterprise Education. And uh, we will have another method um, once we get through this also that anybody can try. But this tutorial is really geared towards the higher level versions of Windows 10. So anyway, uh, best match to go back of edit group policy. Just go ahead and lock click on that. And now we are in here. We're going to go expand our window a bit. I'm going to actually collapse the user configuration section. I don't want anybody getting confused. And then directing our attention completely underneath computer configuration. Double click on the administrative templates folder. Do the same thing for the Windows components folder as well. Go down to remote desktop services. Double click on that. There should be a remote desktop session host. Go ahead and left click on that. And now finally on the right side, there should be something that says remote session environment. Go ahead and double click on that. Now on the right side, there should be something near the bottom of this list that says use WDDM graphics display driver. Go ahead and double click on that. You want to set this to disabled and then select apply and okay. Once you're done with that, close it here. One third thing I would suggest would be to go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in device manager. Best match to go back with device manager listed right above control panel. Just go ahead and left click on that. Expand the display adapter section, so double click on that. And then whatever display adapter is listed under here. You want to right click on it and select update driver. Select browse my computer for driver software and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. You can select a more specialized one or you can just go with the Microsoft basic display adapter, whatever you prefer. And just go ahead and select next to install. And once that's done, you will have to close out of here. What to just restart your computer just so everything takes effect. And that should hopefully be about it once you guys restart your computer. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.